we are hearing from a D.C. bar owner about his refusal to enforce the city's vaccine mandate. He says it was the right move, but at least some of his employees, they feel a bit differently and are now out of a job. Our chief investigative reporter Eric Flack has been following this saga for weeks now. And Flack, we know late last night the city took the final step to put this place out of business, right? That's right. So here it is right here. The D.C. Health Department posting this food establishment closure notice, effectively closing down the last element of the big board. This after the Alcohol Beverage Regulation Administration stripped the place of its liquor license. Why? Well, the owner just brazenly and continually flaunted and ignored the city's new vaccine card mandate requiring bars, restaurants, gyms, movie theaters to check the vaccination status of anybody who wants to stay in Side here. Now, hours after the city posted this latest closure notice last night, the owner talked about why he did it. You guys might probably don't know me. A lot of the world doesn't know me. The big board owner, Eric Flannery, speaking Tuesday night, just hours after the D.C. Health Department closed the H Street bar for violations of D.C. code that, quote, presents an imminent health hazard to the public. Appearing in a short video tweeted out by the website The Daily Signal, Flannery is flanked by conservative politicians, including Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. It's a big decision, civil resistance, civil disobedience, when you lose your livelihood. So I'm incredibly proud out of him. I'm very supportive of what he's doing because he's saying my individual liberty is worth the price of me even losing my business. Flannery was ordered closed after repeated warnings and fines by the city for not checking vaccination cards of people who eat or drink inside, now required by D.C. law. Days after the city's new law went into effect, a WUSA 9 investigation spot checked 20 other businesses in all four quadrants of the city to find out how many of them were following the vaccine card entry mandate. Half of them did not check my vaccination status in any form before allowing me to enter, order, and eat inside. But none have been more openly defiant of the law than the big board. I really don't know when people ask me, what, where are you going to get on the other side of this? I don't know. I just know that I'm doing the right thing and th this place is supposed to be open. But it's not anymore, and that apparently doesn't sit well with at least some of Flannery's former employees. In a post to the bar's Facebook page Wednesday morning, later deleted, the author writes, quote, not everyone that has worked at this establishment has the same views as management. As much as there was no thought in posting on social about their political stance, the same amount of thought was given to who still has access to some of our social media accounts. I want you to know that the middle finger that you regulars were given, some of the staff were also given, and we feel the same way you do. After all, this is now an apolitical bar, but look at who's now associated with it. A GoFundMe set up by one of the customers here to help the bar pay off all the fines that go with this has already raised more than $23,000, but get this, their problems, their fines, the investigations might not be over, even though the place is dark. Just moments ago, we saw an inspector from DCRA out here who says they may also open a case file on the big board.